Siamo con Matt di Trivium. Hi, welcome with us. Hi, thanks for having me. So you have recently published a new album that you, um, you described as the best you could do. So can you explain us why this is... I listen a lot of times and I find that you have been more mature, sound, uh, like the sound and the lyrics too. For us, In Waves sounds more like Trivium than I feel every record ever has, that every Trivium record ever has. Within Waves, we made exactly what we wanted to hear. We didn't think, are people going to like this? Or are people going to dislike this? Instead, we just made exactly the kind of music that we felt like we wanted to make. A big thing with this record were the visuals as well, something that we've never really taken as far as we did within Waves. And so the music and the visuals were all equally just as important as each other. So um, how is, was, has been making a new record with Nick? It was amazing. The um, thing with Nick is he's such a versatile drummer that it freed us up mentally, not having to think, is he going to be able to do this or that? And we knew he'd be able to play anything technically. And also for the fact that he was up for anything that we'd be into doing visually, that also freed us up into just being able to be creative, freely creative without having to think of anything. From what did you take inspiration for the sound? That this more mature sound and is very different respect to your previous work. And I follow you since your first records and so it's changed a lot, so I think you are going to find the, your, the Trivium sound, you know what I mean? It's hard to know exactly why or what or how it happened, but I, I really do believe it's just over time, with the amount of shows we've done, the amount of records we've done, and all the different things that have happened to our band that allowed in Waves to be the way it is. So it's, it's not something as much as, as it is definable as something as it is learned from all the things that we've been through. And last year you've been uh, you've been linked to some uh, great great bands like Metallica or Iron Maiden. Did did hurts you to be not recognized at an individual band, or uh, it is something that happens and uh, you don't? No, care? I think it, it comes with time. I, I still think there's a lot of work that we have to do before we're regarded as a band along those lines. We've been able to tour with pretty much every band I think we could possibly tour with, and a lot of our favorite bands, and so. From certain bands we'll learn some things, and from other bands we won't. With us, I think there's just always more to go, and there's always more, to, more room to grow. So, uh, have you listened to Lulu, the album that Metallica made with uh, Lurid? I haven't bought the album myself, no. Do you, do you think that it is good for a band like Metallica to do a, a record like this? I guess with them, they can do whatever they want. You know, they're the biggest band on the planet, so... They can really do anything they want. Yeah, I, we can't do whatever we want. <laughs> I mean, what we wanted to do was in waves, so I guess we did it. Um, but yeah, I, have, I haven't bought it myself. Would you love to, to make a, a strange record or an artistic project? And if so, with who? Not Trivium and someone, no. No, if I were to do something different, I would just do it and either call it something else or never tell anyone that I did it. And that, I think that would be truly creative, whereas it was just for the sake of making it. It wasn't for the sake of making people hear it, it was the, for the sake of the creativity of it. I read that you, uh, you played some uh, custom guitars, so that are designed for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so far I only have the prototypes of it, but I'm currently working on Matt Hafey's signature Epiphone, Les Paul Customs. Um, that's the prototype over there. You'll be the first person yeah. that has any footage of it. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not playing it live because it's not quite ready yet, but I'm just constantly working on it here and there. I don't know when it'll come out or anything like that, but I've been working on it. So can you explain us how it works? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just I wanted to make something that was affordable, that was as closely playing to my main Les Paul Customs as possible. Because if I were to release a Matt Hafey Les Paul Custom, I, I can't even afford those guitars. They're like $5,000, you know, no one no can afford a guitar that much. So this would be something that all level guitar players would be able to afford. So we're just still crafting it out. Exactly, we, we make good luck for, for this custom guitar's work. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> so, and um, this show is sold out. So what do you think about Italian fans? I love them. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. They've always been into us. The fact that we showed up at noon and there was 100 people outside already. Um, so we've been slowly, slowly getting ready all day, but I guess we're getting pretty close now. So. I have to do a lot of warming up tonight. <laughs> so maybe because uh, they, they, I probably they, they know since a lot of years because you're a young band recently. 
a young band, so maybe a lot of your fans knows you since the, the first album. I think that it is very difficult with being very story about me. Yeah. This will definitely be the best show that any of our fans have ever seen from us. I read that you've been in Japan recently. Yeah, or? yeah. We went. Uh, we did one show in Japan in the middle of a U.S. tour. We did a promo trip over there a couple months ago. It seems like we're there once or twice a year. Yeah. How's it been being there after the earthquake? So how did you find uh, the, the there's, fans? There still is a lot of devastation. There's still, I mean, they're, they're definitely getting their stuff together, but it still is pretty affected. Um, I mean, hell, look at the states with the Katrina damage. There's still damage from that. So I think some things just take a really, really long time to clean up. Um, I donated one of my guitars to charity. I mean, there's hardly a dent that a small band like us can do to benefit something like that. But I saw Marty Friedman auction off all of his guitars, which definitely would make an impact to help. So it's it's terrible, but the, you know the, there's always natural disasters happening all over the world, and it's all about people helping out to, to help fix those kinds of things.